the people of Crimea decided in a referendum in 2014 that the Republic of Crimea and the city of Sevastopol become part of the Russian Federation. The US and EU countries refused to recognize the referendum results and the residents of Crimea received sanctions in response. If, as the West claims, Crimea is annexed, then the residents of the region are victims. So, what are they being sanctioned for? And if they voted, then it is a manifestation of democracy. How can we punish democracy? After all, a referendum is the most democratic way to express the will of the people. The sanctions have denied 2.5 million people living in the south of Europe access to heat, electricity, water, and communications, and have restricted, contrary to existing conventions, the freedom of movement of citizens and communication with families and relatives of diaspora communities in Crimea. The sanctions have also become a barrier to cooperation in educational and other spheres and ultimately violate its rights to development. Okay, university is a structure that uh, really gives students understanding of fundamentals of human rights and democracy. So it's very important for them to have a academic mobility, uh, communication with the whole world and uh, scientific cooperation. I repeated that sanctions uh, restrict this ability. And uh, I think that especially now people should understand that culture, education, science, healthcare should never be under sanctions. And as uh, Dr. Martin Luther King told once, darkness uh, cannot drive out darkness. The light only can do this. So the sanctions can never drive out sanctions. The communication only can do this. A very serious blow was dealt by the introduction of the travel ban for Crimeans to EU countries. At the same time, representatives of European nations, Greeks, Bulgarians, Germans, Italians, Estonians, live in Crimea. The prohibition for them to visit their relatives violates the Helsinki Final Act of 1975. The EU recorded this ban in writing as proof that Europeans themselves violate democratic principles and conventions. Business suffers from sanctions. The International Postal Service does not work in Crimea. It is impossible to make international bank transfers. International payment systems blocked accounts of Crimean customers. The US corporation Google has blocked the accounts of users registered in Crimea. The air harbor and seaports are blocked. European and US businessmen who would like to work with Crimean enterprises cannot do so. Sanctions against Russia and Crimea have had an opposite effect and have rather consolidated the Russians around their president and also given rise to the rapid development of the domestic infrastructure on the peninsula. The policy of unilateral sanctions at a time of global universal cataclysms, such as the coronavirus pandemic, is unacceptable and simply unreasonable. Sanctions are incompatible with the humanistic ideas of today's world community. In particular, the right of each and every person to live a decent life without outside interference. Collective action against a country does not justify them in any way, nor does it make them legitimate compared to individual action. But banning sanctions is quite possible. Implementing this idea would make the world a little more stable.